Welcome back to Let's Play No One Lives Forever. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... Last time, Archer took the fall for everything bad that happened on the mission. I managed to restrain myself from threatening my boss with physical violence for shit-talking the late Bruno. And then we visited his grave. Now we're going to try some lipstick grenades. Oh my fucking god. Impact explosive. A deadly explosive disguised as women's lipstick. This device explodes uh, or detonates on impact when thrown. <laughs> that was a bit dramatic for simply reloading. Oh, fuck. You can throw that way farther than I thought. Fuck it. I hit the target. It happened. No! You've taken my lipstick, too. And my lighter! That's for. Now, open the door to the next area. Searchlights are also best avoided. Shooting them out will likely cause every bit as much commotion as being caught in the beam. Figure out their movement patterns before attempting to bypass them. All right, now open the door to the ah, next area. I beat you. That seems easy enough to avoid. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, too. Oh. You know, I couldn't help but think that it was odd. I mean, I understand they didn't have the birth date and death date on Bruno's uh, tombstone. Because uh, they're leaving it vague what actual year this is, just that it's sometime in the 60s. But... Every tombstone I've ever seen has had the person's last name on it. Sometimes it doesn't even have the first name, but this one just said, Our Beloved Bruno. I guess one of the intelligence items I missed was uh, the opportunity to... I guess one of the intelligence items I missed in the first level was when I kept shit-talking the guy behind the counter. The, uh... I don't remember his name. Jones, I think. But, uh... 
I didn't exactly get 20 opportunities to speak in the Morocco level, so I just sucked there. It's just that the, the whole level is so huge and it's kind of mazy. I don't know. We got shit to do. Reputation bonus. Okay. We've been contacted by Dr. Otto Schenker, an East German biophysicist who we believe is working on a top-secret biological weapons program for the Soviet Union. Ooh. Dr. Schenker has expressed a desire to defect. Yay. He has asked us to assist him in exchange for information on his research. This opportunity couldn't have arisen at a worse time. After that embarrassment in Morocco, you're hardly our first choice to handle this affair, but all our other surviving operatives are tied up on equally critical assignments. If we want a chance at Schenker, it has to be now, and it has to be you, on your own. I hear Berlin is a lovely city. Infiltrate the research compound in East Berlin. Set explosive charges. Photograph classified documents. Rendezvous with uh, Werner von Haupt and offer him a light. Locate Dr. Schenker. Escape or East Berlin with Dr. Schenker. Oh, crap. Fuck that. If I have to choose, I'm taking the sniper rifle. They're both silenced. Mandatory. These perfectly ordinary looking sunglasses have been fitted with a zoomable spy camera. They can be modified to support a mine detector and an infrared spectrograph. You know, when... There was a note from Bruno saying something about returning with different equipment. And I wonder if that's like, I can actually go back to the minefield with this and get across without blowing myself up. But, so far there's been no opportunity to like replay old levels or anything. Hmm. Well, I finally learned what the fucking body remover is for, but... You know what, the coin sucks. Let's not take the coin. I did kind of want to check on something. Arizoko wanted to know if uh, I could actually use the coin on the vending machines to get a cola or something. But, uh... Hmm... Oh, I have to offer him a light. That's right. Uh... All right. Fuck it. I'm going without it. Sure. I guess I'll take that with me. Five body remover powder. Let's do this. I mean, I have a strong suspicion that I'm just going to end up shooting everyone anyway. But I might as well try. Keep things from completely flipping out. Dead end. Thanks, Gabe. Uh... Good enough in Fraulein. Do you make love to strangers? Certainly not. Then allow me to introduce myself. Why not just introduce yourself to a police officer and spare me the trouble? Who makes up these ghastly code phrases, anyway? Someone in the cryptography department. Someone in need of a girlfriend, apparently. What do you have for me? Just this. The entrance is hidden. Thank you. Good luck. Hello? Oh. Hello. 
afraid tonight? Or will it cost me? More than you can afford. Why must I be made to say such idiotic things? Never mind that. Just tell me what you have. I was told to say, in the basement. Thank you. Tell the person who wrote the code phrase to grow up. Stasi memo to building maintenance from Lieutenant Dietrich. The subtunnel beneath the Stasi records and research facility is flooded again. Please send crew. The stench is unbearable. I have already fainted twice today. I know I need to call someone. It's just... Ah. Uh, I can talk to you. Hello? Leave me alone. Oh. It's not like I wanted to get into your pants or anything. Want to come in for a game of Twister? I'd rather run over you with my car. These code phrases have a somewhat confessional tone to them, don't you think? Yeah, now that you mention it. Oh, I hit the right one completely by accident. Get lost. Nobody's home. I'm gonna annoy everyone in the building, miss this one. I am a child. Go away! Thank you! I want to pester that guy, especially. Will that camera there get me in trouble? Yep, so let's not get in front of that camera. Hi. I really thought that one would open. Honestly, I thought I'd have to use this thing to call the, uh, the, the room. Nothing happens when I press E again. Didn't you just die in Morocco? I don't want to talk to you. I'll eat my ass. We got some weird wind here in Germany. <gasps> oh, come on! I didn't even get to watch him fall down. Beer! I know that word in German. Like a drink. Oh wait, no, I'm probably on duty, aren't I? Yes, that's right. I've always kind of wanted to find a bar with these little lights on the tables, little, little candles. All the bars I've been to are clean and modern. Except for this one really old Irish place. But they didn't have the candle tables. I'm jumping! About the riffraff. I guess I'll push this button. Classy! It actually shows the level moving. I was wondering if there'd be like a loading thing there. Nobody's home! Remember me? Go away! Okay. Oh. Hmm. It says, of the library. In the basement. The entrance is hidden in the basement of the library.
Oh, wait. Duh, of course there's only one button. I'm an idiot. There's only two floors. Or, no, this... I just assumed that there'd be like a corridor here that would lead to all of the, uh, the, the one -oh rooms. Well, uh, I guess not. I'm staring at you. I'm trying to remember what game it was I read about where if you stare at, uh... Wait, what? If you stare at someone in one game I heard about, she blushes over time. I think it might have been Prince of Persia. You were not here, like, 30 seconds ago. You are the most beautiful girl I have ever seen. Can you cook and clean, too? No, but I can put you in the hospital if you want. Maybe you can find someone to take care of you there. Maybe. What sort of imbecile says things like this? I'm afraid to find out. By the way, I am supposed to tell you this. Behind the shelf. Thanks. Please don't think that I enjoyed saying those things to you. Even though the words were not mine, I am so disgusted with myself that I must return home and wash myself with soap. Don't worry about it. You are a kind young woman. I wish you luck. The entrance is hidden in the basement of the library behind the shelf. Hmm. Thank you. This looks way too classy to be working here. I mean, he had a chain for a pocket watch on his vest. Where the hell is the library? I know Verboten is forbidden. I don't know what Eingang is. Oh. What are you doing here? I found this money on the ground outside. I thought it might be yours. Oscar Seichnet. Go quickly. Do not get caught. Consulting my handy screenshot, the letter says, Herr Mueller, at last, we have deciphered a portion of the super-secret Unity code. The message is, Want to go out for a rack of fizzle. Does anyone in your section know what this might refer to? Thanks. Victor Mim, Cryptography. Odd. Hmm. <laughs> did she really say that to you? Yeah, can you believe it? So what did you do? What do you think I did? I know what I would have done. Then you have your answer. So, how was she? What do you mean? You know what I mean. No, I don't. Explain it to me. I thought you said you... You know... What? I didn't say that. What did you say? Why do you even have to ask? I didn't think I had to ask. But I guess I was wrong. You should get your mind out of the gutter. Get some Teufel. Weird. And here I thought Germans had no sense of humor. Oh, oh good. I don't have to worry about the alarm anymore. Didn't the guy go in here? Oh. As far as I'm concerned, these guys are still civilians. They're good guys. <clears throat> They're guarding this facility. Yeah, Unless these are the Stasi? Oh. Yeah, what was that? Oh, that's a problem. 
Oh, I'm back here. <laughs> did she really say that to you? Yeah, can you believe it? So what did you do? What do you think I did? <laughs> Stupid camera. Stupid pole. I'm not going to shoot the camera out here just to see what happens. Haha! <laughs> did she really say that to you? Yeah, can you believe it? So what did you do? What do you think I did? I know what I would have done. Then you have your answer. So, how was she? Do I have to wait for this stupid conversation so that they separate? You know what I mean. No, I don't. I thought you said you... You know... What? I didn't say that. Octo! Uh, really, guys? Grenades? Really? What do you think I did? I know what I would have done. Then you have your answer. So, how was she? Okay. Are you okay? Wake up over there! Wait to see if that camera can see them. We cannot. Ooh, golden eye alarm. Oh no. Ah. Well, there's the timer anyway. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play No One Lives Forever when we uh, try and make our way deeper into this facility. And uh, maybe keep the murders to an absolute minimum. Later!